Sophie here for children. We are today representing equivalent fractions. Wow, how exciting. Um, so for this, you're going to need four strips of paper. So hopefully you can get, pause your video and go and get yourself four bits of paper that are all the same size. Go. Okay, welcome back. Right, we're gonna warm up our brains with some rounding. We love rounding. Okay, so pause your video, round this number to the nearest 10, 100 and 1,000. Off you go. Okay, cool, let's go through this. We should be experts at this after last week. So if we run to the nearest 10, we're gonna circle the tens. We're gonna run to the one next door. Think about nine. Is it gonna round up? Is it gonna round down? It's gonna go up. So our answer is going to be 7,240. If you're not sure how to do this, you don't know what's going on, you need to look at last week's video and remind yourselves. Okay, now we're gonna round this to the nearest 100. Okay, circle and underline. Have a look at that three. Is that gonna go up or down? It's gonna go down. So we've got two, 7,200. There we go. And finally, we are now need to round this to the nearest thousand. We're gonna circle the thousands, underline next door. Is the two gonna go up or down? It's gonna go down. So round to the nearest thousand. This number is 7,000. Yay. Okay, next. We've got 6,813. Again, pause the video, round it to the nearest 10, 100 and 1,000. Off you go. Okay, welcome back. So to round to the nearest 10, we need to circle the tens and underline next door. Think about that three, is it going to go up? Is it going to go down? It's going to go down. So we've got 6,810. Okay, next. We are now going to round this to the nearest hundred, so we circle the hundreds, underline next door. Think about that one, is it going to go up or down? It goes down, so we've got 6,800. Lovely. Okay, last of all, round it to the nearest thousand, we've circled the thousands, so we've underlined next door. Is that eight going to go up or down? It's going to go eight, so the answer is going to be 7,000. There we go. Okay. Right, so, have a look at these. I want you to tell me which one of these is larger, one quarter or one half. To do this, children, we are going to shade in some sections. So, have a look at this, four. Okay, so we need to find the bar that is split into four. It's the top one, and we're gonna colour in one of those. One out of the four. Now this one, can you see there's two? So we need to find the shape that's split into two. It's here. And we need to colour in one of those bits that split into two. Okay, so now you can tell me which is larger. Is it one quarter or one half? It's half. I would much rather have half a pizza than a quarter of a pizza. Lovely. Now this one, which is larger? Four, three quarters or four sixths? So here we go, we've got our four. Which shape is split into four? Oh, it's the bottom one. This time we need to shade in three. Square, well, rectangles really. One, two, three. Okay, now this one, there's six. So is this shape split into six? One, two, three, four, five, six. It is. I need to colour in five of those. So it's going to be all of those. Really lovely, neat colouring, as you can see, children. Right, so which one is bigger? Is it three quarters or five six? It's five six. Okay, we've got another one. We need to colour into three quarters. So that one's split into four, so let's shade in this one. One, two, three. Lovely. And we've got 12 sixteenths. Now I can tell you that there's 16 there. Let's colour in 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Amazing. Oh my goodness me. What has happened here? They are equal. They're the same. They're equivalent fractions. Okay, now this is the exciting bit, children. Here, in front of me, I have four strips of paper. Now, because I'm in school, I've gone for drowsy, different colours, but obviously if you're at home, whatever you've got is fine. So I might actually pop those down on the table. That might be easier for you all to see. So what we're going to do is, we're gonna make ourselves a kind of fraction graph. So first of all, we're going to have one whole piece. 
here's a pen and we're going to write one on it okay next we are going to fold one piece of paper in half okay there we go right Ooh, I was gonna write upside down but I've changed my mind <laughs> one half there we go Can you see how that kind of fits in there right your next piece of paper you're gonna fold it into quarters so this time fold it and then fold it again so make sure you take your time to do it nice and neatly make sure they're all equal sizes if not it's not going to be a very good fraction okay so there we go we've got four quarters now can you see that four quarters is the same as one whole now this one we're going to fold it and fold it again and then we're gonna fold it again dun 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 and we're gonna see how many little shapes we have got now we have got one two three four five six seven eight these are all eights you don't need me to write that all the time okay so you're going to do the same as me and then you're going to have a look and experiment with different equivalent fractions so you can see that one half is the same as two quarters and um, which is the same as four eighths okay you're basically just going to have a look and experiment loads of fun okay and then what you're going to do is you're going to find this fraction wall and you're going to fill it in for me lovely so, a bit like we've just been doing. Half. Oh, oh, it's not half children, is it? It's tricking you all. That's one. This one's half. Okay, now this one is split into one, two, three. Let's make sure that's the two. So, it is going to be one third. This one, let's pick a random one. Let's go for this one. This one's split into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So each of these is going to be one eleventh. Okay, so you guys can take some time now and fill that in for me. Off you go. <laughs> Welcome back. Okay, now I think we've just got a couple more slides to do. So I want you to have a look at your fraction wall and decide which one's larger, one quarter or one half. Off you go. So one half is larger here. Now have a look. Three quarters or five six, which is larger? It's five six. You may remember we did that one earlier. And we've also done this one. Find it on your fraction wall. Three quarters or twelve sixteenths. Have a look on your fraction wall. They're equivalent. Yay! Okay, so well done for today, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!